we literally have 45 minutes till the plane is supposed to land. We're about a mile from camp. We gotta make time for one selfie that left. Can we do the hero yeah. shot? Yeah. With you and your fuck? Jeez. Kodiak, but they didn't stick it out. <laughs> All right, today I'm doing a little something different. It's Halloween day. I'm wearing a Chewbacca costume. But I got a buck hat back in camp. And once I get done packing this deer out, I'll be archery hunting on Halloween day in my Chewbacca costume. So, we'll see. Got a couple deer down. We'll have them with the boat from here on out. You can probably cut off some more distance going up that far. Up, there's a there's a grass knoll right there. 75 yards ahead of you. Yep, he's hit, he's going down. Down, all right. Here we go, let's go get him. It's a good looking cow reindeer you got there, guy. Good looking reindeer, bud. Yup, yup, that's a good reindeer. Oh yeah. Look He's wide. He smokes. That's cool. Look at this. <laughs> oh, look how wide it is. It's almost 50 inches wide. I don't know. You better check for nuts and make sure it's a heat. Remember yesterday I told you there was one that just splayed way out. Is it this one? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so it's pretty cool that, that, that these are feral reindeer. Kodiak Island. I mean, this is, this is like... I would, I would say that this is about half the size. This is about half the size of a caribou. I mean, look at, he's all emaciated. Oh, because they just finished the rut. So he broke off on a time right here. So I think they're finishing the rut is what Taj said. And um, it's just pretty cool. Wow. Deed animal. 
Yeah, he's all emaciated. Look at his back, his hips. Cool animal, for sure. I got turkey house on Halloween. This has certainly been an interesting end of the October. It's a good day. It's a really good day. And wow, uh, look at the size of him. He's not that big. Tonight I actually remembered my head like. So I think um, because I did it, you got to pack him out all by yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I packed mine out whole all by myself. You should go New Zealand style and just throw him over your just gut him and throw him over your shoulder. I wish that I had enough fuzz on the peaches to do that. <laughs> the New Zealand women, the Kiwi ladies do that. Do that? Man, they're tough. They are certainly tough. All right, well, here's the phone. Take a couple pictures yeah, of that. I'll snap I don't, some photos. Yeah. Then you just close the screen and it'll shut off. Really? Caribou, first one, even though he's a reindeer, still technically classified as a caribou. I mean, this is a big moment in my life. He's huge. Me too. It's huge. I just, I appreciate the opportunity to come out here, hunt with you, be with you, pack meat with you. Kill some deers. Find some we're meat. we're killing his deers right here. Killing deers. Killing deers. Oh, making meat. Dude, you're doing that wrong. You're <laughs> the pack's downhill and your butt's uphill. Dude, I got a jalopy. Did you see what I did? See, you gotta learn from the old man. Stand in a hole, put the pack right there. <laughs> Glad I just look right here. You ready? ready? One, two, yep. <laughs> Kids. All right. We were supposed to get a buck for you tonight. Nah, I'm, over, I'm over it. <laughs> I wish you here tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. We still got a few days and we might even be weathered in. Have a few more days. It's all right. It's a good time to bro down. Hang out and tell pet stories. We're definitely finding meat and making meat. Meat excursion. This is a meat, meat excursion. We're gonna single-handedly feed all the households of Palmer, Alaska, and Reno, Nevada. <laughs> we got a mountain meat camp. We're Anybody need meat? We got it. It's gonna be a fun barbecue season. 907. All winter long. 907, man, meat. For me to switch, I have to have a reason for it, not just because something new came out. I shot weight for 19 years. It wasn't gonna be a bow I could trust this year. I mean, I shot all the different bow brands. I shot Matthews, I shot Elite, went through the whole list, and, and Prime stuck out to me. Draw this one back, it's just there. You're not waiting for the wobble to come out of your hand. I drew it back and let it rip, and I was like, dang, order me one. And that was my story with Prime. Last morning, we've stacked up a lot of meat and a lot of antler, so we've got one last morning hunt. They're gonna scheduled to come in and pick us up at about 4.30 today, so. Austin has one more deer tag. I got one more deer tag. Declutter my tent a little bit here. Go out on a quick morning hunt. Gotta have everything dialed and ready and at the, at the beach for when they come in, so. Put on some frozen boots. Go tread some frozen tundra. Pour up there today. Good sight to wake up to. Stack of antlers. That's my morning high zoot right there, as Austin would call it. How you doing over there? You're, you've kind of grown like an old man. Yeah. I feel like an old man. My low back. All oh. that meat. Packing all that meat. Here you go. Finding meat. You got hot water already? Got hot water. Oh, right. dude. This is serious stuff. Tell you what, our camp looks like a crime scene. We must have 
500 pounds of meat, probably only 400 pounds, I was thinking last night. The deer that we're packing, and the, and the food that we're packing, it's not like hard ground. It's tussocks, hummocks, and swamp. And you're just going like this, at, at length. So, it's definitely tough. 2.30, we're gonna go up and over that hill. It's gonna be about a cutoff now. Last morning push. Just trying to find that next level buck, you know. Last morning. Last morning. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like going through this stuff at all. Are you going to dump him or are you going to... Maniac's big forky. Yeah, he's not, not what I'm after. Okay. The sun makes him look so much bigger today. Dude, <laughs> I got a bullet in the pipe, man. I thought you were going to shoot. Had one in the pipe, looking at him through the scope. 15 power. Just didn't do it for me.
brush next to the red bush. Where is he? Yes. Next to the red bush. Now he's in the light. He wasn't coming to the call. I think he was just right there. He was right there? Yeah, I think he was just laying right there in the shade. Steel is over three times stronger than aluminum, which means you don't have to fear that shoulder. Bam! Stronger and better penetration. So what does that really mean? Well, I guess that depends on how full you want your freezer. It's time to raise the stakes. Bring home the meat. Dead meat. Dead meat. All steel broadhead, 320% stronger than aluminum. I bet he was just hanging out down that big, thick brush. And then was probably looking and saw what we were. And that's what, because we got the wind on it. He saw what we were. He saw what we were and booked it. Dude, that was that a big bear. That call worked. Did oh, you yeah. see all the deer running at us? Well, I was filming that buck going across. And that's when you, when you spotted the bear, I was filming that buck. And that's one thing that deters hunters from coming to Kodiak is that exact thing. But once he saw us, he took off running the other way. Wow. All right, the bear jumped out right there, just below us and went, He's right in there now. Big brownie. Uh. bedded down here. We're gonna go take a look. Closer look. Doesn't looks like a good deer. He just 350 yards. He just walked. He just walked down and in though. He's still there. That's a different deer. He's still there. Oh no. Yeah, he's out in the field. Okay. Yeah, he's... He 
and just turn back to the right. Yeah, he's walking. Yep, yep he's walking. I'm filming him. Where did he go? He's out there. He's out there. Yeah, that's a big deer. 370. He's out though, he's out in the open. Hold on. Okay, your camera's definitely on him, it's locked, wait. Hey! You! Okay, it's on him. I think you hit him good. Yeah, he's going down. He's down. He's down. Last day buck, buddy. <laughs> yes. She's down. <laughs> that's a big buck. It's a good deer. Yeah. I'm glad yeah, you got him. Well. well, I think that's the, definitely the last deer of the trip. Tim's tagged out. And we've got a mountain of meat back at the uh, hill over here. we got Meat Hill. This is serious business. Yeah, this was a uh, finding meat mission, wasn't it? This was a serious finding meat mission. A safe gun. I think we had a GoPro, your camera, my camera, and my GoPro. We had at least four cameras rolling for this last one. <laughs> We're ridiculous. <laughs> and it's a big buck. Nice, nice. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Good man. Trip. This has been an awesome trip. Great. I'm gonna put the gun back to zero. Cranking it back down low, just in case Mr. Burr jumps up. Yeah, that was pretty serious seeing that bear. Do you want to go get him with I your bow? I didn't bus? know if he was exactly what I wanted at first, but then he's up above, he he's nice bigger. He's bigger boy. than your other buck. He looked good. It doesn't matter. Okay. Hey, uh. You see exactly where he's at? Yeah. Yeah. See where they're walking away? So he's that, that little pond right there. There's a trail goes right to it. Right at the edge of the grass. Yeah, that second guy looks like a big forky. Hey, can we keep an eye on him where he's at? Or do you want to walk straight down to him and I'm, let me circle around? I want to see if there's another deer. Austin's gonna circle around, see if he can get on with his bow. We've got an hour till the cutoff and we gave ourselves to give us enough time to get a deer back to camp before the plane comes in. But I wanna make sure we got plenty, plenty, plenty of time. So I'm gonna work my way down to the deer, get to work. Right at about 400 yards. It's a great deer. I almost passed him like at first when I saw him. I knew that he was a big three and we saw him from back here, back here lower on the saddle. I was like, ah, I don't know, let's go get a closer look. And then from up above him, of course he lay looked bigger. And then he turned his head and I saw this blading and the mass and then this little extra down here. I'm like, yeah, that's the buck for me. I think, I think I'd like that deer. Big bodied, rutted out. Oh, what a beautiful animal. Gray faced. Amazing. Pretty buck. I'm really happy to have him coming with me. Just an amazing animal, amazing experience. 
amazing place to be able to see that brown bear just a little bit ago, you know, no more than an hour ago. And then to pop up over the ridge and see this buck and another couple of bucks down there. And to know that in just a few short hours, the plane should be coming in to, to grab us. So, an amazing, fun, grateful for the safety, grateful for the experiences, memories, and for the animals that we have to pursue. So my brother. Oh, look at that buck. Nice buck, man. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. What a buck. Oh yeah, he's definitely bigger than your other one. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is a good note. I just got a note from our pilot. Yeah. It's a good, good note to end on because I just got a, a text message from the pilot. Oh, he's got a, oh. I know, I saw it. <laughs> I just got a note from the pilot and they, they bumped the flight up to 2.30. So we're gonna have to get slice and dice. Are you kidding me? Pack. Yeah, I'm not joking. Oh, <laughs> All right. Look how big he is. Okay, keep your crap on, sit right there. We're gonna snap some photos, okay? okay. Just sit right there. I got it all set up. Okay, cool. Thank you for doing that. Thank you very much for waiting for me. I was like, I wish, I hope we get a picture together. Look at the blade and the sticker. I know the sticker's cute. Oh. Yeah. He's a good deer. I'm glad we glad we rocked him. I'm really glad. You're like, you want to go after him with the bow? I'm like, I think you should shoot him. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. Good. Oh, right on. For more information on the Solo Hunter rifle covers, bino harness system, and other accessories, or to connect with us on social media for exclusive photos and videos, log on to solohunter.com. Yeah. Oh, he's not as long as man. We literally have 45 minutes till the plane is supposed to land. We're about a mile from camp. We gotta make time for one little selfie though. Let's do, can we do the hero yeah. shot? Yeah. With you and your fuck? Yeah. Cheese. Kodiak. Suck it in, stick it out. <laughs> hey, wait, I'm gonna hold it. Let me hold it. Hold it. Doing it, man. I think this has been one of the most successful trips to Kodiak that I've ever had. Personally, Burnett. Well, you did a mighty fine job. Dude, I don't have the best balance. The weight on my back, especially. Woo! We did it. So we're on the downhill slide now, eh? That's right. We're almost back. You want to lead us down? No. All right. Putting you away. It's a beautiful thing. We are breaking down camp as fast as we can. I kind of broke down camp before I realized I probably should film breaking down camp. So Austin's just a little bit slow. My camp was right here. So we'll get everything all nice and organized and packed, ferry it out to the beach out here. And then sit in the sunshine. Might take off our shirts and get a suntan while we're waiting for Taj. Hey, you move like grease lightning. Dude, I'm a professional camp put it up or take her down. Here. And a slicer and dicer. Yeah. You, you gotta uh, you gotta be careful around me with a knife. How quick did we break down that buck when I got that in reach of like, hey? It's it quick. Hawaiian style? Yeah. That was fun. We have our boy coming here. 
Sounds like the same plane that dropped us off, don't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good feeling, huh? Oh, man. We're getting out of here. We got a mountain of meat, successful hunt. Now we get to go home to see mamas. Beautiful weather. Man, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't have gone down better. Last minute buck. You better hurry. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. The road ahead, it twists and turns and the sun beats down and it burns. But I keep, keep on pushing through. And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing Lots of hugs on this trip. Yep. Hey, man. Does that we'll see you on the other side. Oh, you're going and I'm staying? Yeah. Screw that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But you love this me back Definitely ain't staying. I'm going down. home. Yeah, I get up. Last plane I could fly because it had a stick over on the side. Trade me seats. <laughs> <laughs> I never get a break. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Oh, I've come too far in this to raise my flag and call it quits. So I keep, oh, I keep on pushing through. Step my heart, it pounds. Yes, so sure.